You mother You pieces of sh You pieces of trash. I didn't think I'd make a part five to this, or at least not this way. The Task Force X game will be a live service game. You saw that leaked picture with the battle pass and store tab on top. And whoever leaked that, thank you. Thank you for leaking that. Thank you for showing that to us before it was too late. The Rocksteady we once knew, they're gone. I'd say I can't believe it, but in this decade, anything freaking happens. Like, it is crazy to think that the underdog, Gotham Knights, that one learned from Marvel's Avengers. Learned from all of those mistakes. And yet, Rocksteady, they don't. And nobody better not use the usual excuses. Well, for example, it being corporate, not these developers. No, at this point, after 10 plus years of this live service trash, these devs are at fault too. Don't support this game. And if you want to pay your respects to Kevin Conroy, then you're better off buying Gotham Knights. And you think I'll be laughing at this because of all the Arkham fanboys that bashed on Gotham Knights when it first came out but I'm honestly not. Instead, you guys, everyone should support Gotham Knights more. Support the game that isn't a live service game. Meanwhile, let the Task Force X game flop. One last thing. Why the heck is Captain Boomerang and King Shark using guns? Someone can correct me here, but Captain Boomerang is DC's bullseye. He uses a boomerang and he doesn't miss. And this guy is a villain of the Flash, Barry Allen. So he must have some powerful freaking boomerangs to be a threat to a speedster. And King Shark, it's a freaking giant shark with various origins. This thing is the obvious muscle of the team. He does not need a gun. Really, man, I don't know how WB Games Montreal did it. Maybe WB had low expectations, so they just left it alone. Well, they better leave it alone in the future at this rate. And that dev team should definitely get the Titans IP now.